Hello Michael. In this video we're going to talk quickly about the trim paths operation when it comes to converted shape layers from Adobe Illustrator file. As you may already notice when we are you when we are doing the uh, line or strokes animation using converted shape layers then we're going to have a little bit of a problem. <clears throat> so to illustrate the problem for example let's create a simple stroke or line as you already know just create a simple line all right just something like that okay and then set this to something like this the width the width profile set it to something like this and then set it to 40 the width is 40 as you can see this is a normal Adobe Illustrator stroke all right it consists of a single path line here, a single line of path as you can see here, the blue one. <clears throat> so this is a true stroke in Adobe Illustrator. So let's just save this file, save, okay, and then import this into Adobe After Effects. Uh, where are you? There you go. Okay. Now we have this uh, vector layer in the timeline. Now let's just convert this, convert to shape layer, and let's apply the trim paths operation as usual. Trim paths, all right, and then animate the end control as usual, as you already know, to create the line drawing animation. There you go. Now when we play back the animation, we are going to have this kind of animation, okay? the the wiping motion animation it's it's rather it's not correct it's not what we want right so why is this happening why is this animation instead of the line drawing animation as we already know well this is because when trim paths operation is applied on a field shape on a field shape then it is going to have this kind of wiping motion no matter what, whether that field shape is the result of conversion from Adobe Illustrator file or created specifically originally within Adobe After Effects. <coughs> then you're gonna have this wiping motion. How do you know if it's a fill? How do you know if it's not a stroke? Well, just take a look at this. Click the shape layer. And as you can see here, right, this is multiple lines of path here on the shape instead of a single line here as you can see this is just a single line of path in Adobe Illustrator this is already a good and true stroke but when it gets converted into Adobe After Effects into its shape layers then we have this filled shape so instead of a true stroke with a single line of path here we have this filled shape a shape filled with a black color <coughs> right so <clears throat> to solve this problem as you can see we have this wiping animation which is not good and not correct to solve this problem and actually this applies to as I said earlier whatever kind of field shape layers you have whether it is from conversion from Adobe Illustrator or you are creating it originally in After Effects then to solve this problem, this wiping animation, you can do this step. So, first of all, of course, this is the original appearance, okay? The end control is 100, this is the original one previously. So what, what you want to do is just to put a value of 50% on the initial value of these two controls. So put 50%, enable stopwatch, okay? So this is the most important thing. You have to input 50% value on both of these controls, the start and end controls and then enable the stopwatch to enable the keyframing and then go to the other part of the timeline and then you want to crank one control to 100 the other one to 0% like this or you can do the reverse here it doesn't matter it's just the same so long as the other one is 0 and this one is 100% okay now when we play back the animation as you can see it's playing back correctly even though this is a fill shape, it is, this is not a true stroke, but 
it is drawing as a stroke almost like a stroke it's already rather correct for me it doesn't matter <laughs> okay as you can see there but you may notice that this is not actually drawing in the right direction usually you draw from the left to right right or from top to bottom to solve this problem then uh, we can set or change the first vertex point of the shape layer itself so this the largest box here is the first vertex point which means that the path gets drawn initially from this position here okay so to change that we have to do this change click I mean click this vertex point here on the other end on the other end of this uh, shape right click this and then mask and shape path and then set first vertex here okay as you can see now this one is the bigger box and this one is the normal box this is the first vertex point now so now when we play back the animation it's going to play back correctly from left to right top to bottom like that okay so no longer do we see that kind of wiping motion wiping animation from the previous uh, wrong animation in train paths now we are going to see this correct drawing even though this is a filled shape layer not a true or actual stroke as you can see this is still a, a filled shape layer with multiple lines of path there okay mm, you may already notice that uh, the angle here is rather not correct so what you can do is just to play with the offset control tool here you may keyframe it or not it depends on your use so let's just keyframe it for example and let's just make this uh, rather correct so that the, the direction is good the direction of the drawing is good there you go hmm. okay and when it goes here it must change its direction already into oh no there you go change it to this now now it's correct already good okay so there you go Mike when you have converted Adobe Illustrator file into shape layers and the resulting conversion is this field shape here then you have to do this method here 50% at the beginning and then at the end keyframe one is 100 the other is 0% okay so that's it so uh, yeah I think that's it uh, let's discuss another type of stroke in Adobe After Effects I mean in Adobe Illustrator so another kind of stroke here we have <coughs> ah, this one here so when you have these two controls here on the upper two as uniform and basic these two controls here these two drop downs as uniform and basic then the resulting stroke when it gets converted into a shape layer the resulting stroke is a true stroke reload footage there you go let's just convert this okay now as you can see <coughs> even though we have converted this into an After Effects shape layer this is still a true stroke consisting of a single line of path right it is a single line of path similar to the one in Adobe Illustrator as you can see here it consists of a single line of path right the key here when you want to create a true stroke once it gets converted then the key here is to make these two controls as uniform and basic nothing fancy the stroke is just like this okay it's set to basic and this one set to uniform okay so when we apply the trim paths operation on it the usual trim paths operation as you already know keyframing the end into 100 there you go the animation is correct without using the 50 50 value here as we have discussed previously the animation is already correct okay so that's it a true stroke in Adobe Illustrator a simple stroke like this is translated into a true stroke in the shape layer
the key here is, the, is on the true controls here, uniform and basic. Okay, so that's it. So we have discussed two kinds of strokes already. Okay, the first one is a rather dynamic one, which is this, for example, or actually this, for example. Anything that is rather fancy, then it's going to be converted into a field shape in the shape layer instead of a true stroke. Okay. And then the second one, the second type of stroke, is the basic one, the most basic, nothing fancy, uniform and basic here. And then it gets converted into a true stroke in Adobe After Effects shape layer instead of the field shape as we have seen previously. Now the third kind of stroke is the most complex one, which is rarely used, especially in logo animation. So we are using this, for example, charcoal. And let's set this to 40, oh, too big. Let's 15, 16, maybe 10. Yeah, I think this one is good, 10. So this kind of stroke, in Adobe Illustrator, this is still considered a true stroke because as, as you can see, it consists of a single line of path here. But when it gets converted into shape layer, let's just delete this one. Reload footage, draw, drop it. Ah, you can see. <coughs> Scale it up a little bit. <coughs> no, just leave it like that. It's already good. Okay, now let's convert this into a shape layer. Now, as you can see, this shape layer consists, consists of myriads of shapes, multitudes, lots of shapes here. Here you, you can see we have 81, 81 shapes in total. So no longer is it, uh, no, not only is it a filled shape, not only is it a filled shape, but it is multitudes, myriads of filled shapes. Okay, you can see here. We have lots of shapes here, lots and lots of shapes, <coughs> especially this one here, which are not adjacent to each, all, to each other. Okay, so to animate this kind of stroke in Adobe After Effects shape layers, then we have to use a little bit of a trick, which is rather cumbersome, but it's possible nonetheless. So to do this, we are going to use the track mat. Okay, just click this shape in Adobe Illustrator and then we are going to extract extract this path here we are going to extract this path single line of path here by right clicking and then make guides okay click the guide in there then control C to copy and then paste it in here control V it will be pasted as a mask as you can see here this is a mask on the shape layer itself okay I just reposition it as usual or just uh, yeah, manipulate it however you want to conform with the shape itself. Now this is the mask. The mask is already conforming to the shape itself. Okay, just duplicate this layer. Okay, <coughs> and then apply the stroke effect here. As you can see, this <coughs> the stroke effect will draw the mask here. <coughs> As a stroke so the mask the mask will be drawn as a stroke here we can increase the brush size and set the hardness to 100% for example and the brush size okay there you go and don't forget to set this into on transparent now keyframe the end control here from zero as usual to 100 percent all right so now the animation of the stroke looks like this there you go in essence this stroke effect here creates the animation of the mask here the mask is being animated and given a visual display as a white stroke using this now what we want to do next is to create the mask the mask path I mean the, the the track mat okay so we have to do this set as track mat and then when the animation plays it goes like that okay simple simple and good already
okay this one you can control Z and you can see <coughs> it's perfectly similar <coughs> yeah so that's it Mike we have three kinds of stroke from Adobe Illustrator the first one is a rather dynamic but still simple like this one this one here this will be converted into a field shape layer in, in After Effects which then you must have to use the 50-50% method as described previously and then you have this kind of shape which is the uniform and basic this is the true stroke this will get converted into a true stroke in Adobe After Effects shape layer and then this one which is rather complex this will get converted into uh, multitudes or myriads of smaller shapes in the shape layer so there you go we have three kinds of three methods of animating these three different kinds of strokes in After Effects well I have this uh, this tip or tricks I don't know will be helpful sometime in the future and yeah thank you Mike alright